Island. Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to another gambling episode. So this one covers last Friday's gambling event, and for that one I gambled a total of 12 hours. Uh, you know, I'm glad I stuck around that long because I ended up getting a little something special by the end. So with that said, I encourage you to stick around because these will be showcased in chronological order. And I should also add, I kept track of the time for every single find, and the time I spent duping the cold is also included in the 12 hours. Hope you guys enjoy, let's get into it. Alright, so this one is nice, but missing a few stats, you know, but still has its utilities. If I were to use this, I would use it for a max block setup on a droid. Now for the socket, I would probably add a budget 8 dex 12 all res jewel in there, looking something like this. Uh, you know, this could be a decent temporary option until finding something better. Okay, so this is an interesting find considering I found one almost identical during last week's event. In my last video, I recommended using a 9 dex 15 all res jewel. But, after talking with a few experts, they made me realize that running the extra AR with dexterity would require another setup, most likely used against something like a paladin. In other words, the extra resist would be replaced with damage reduction. On the other hand, this circlet with its high resists would be rather used versus something like a sorceress or a trap sin. So with that said, if I were to use this situational item to its fullest potential, I would be left with three options. Number one, a Cham Room. But honestly, I tend to rule that one out since I'm already using a Raven Frost most of the time. Number two, a Low Rune. Now this is a viable option for me, having that extra light resist can come in handy versus lightning based characters. But then again, having extra faster hit recovery points would be very useful against a Trapson, for example. Which leaves me with option number three, my personal favorite, a Shile Room for the 20 FHR points. Another reason why I use this is because for every 5 FHR points I have on my gear, I can swap out FHR SCs in my inventory for 20 Lifer SCs instead. In other words, 20 FHR on my helm translates into 80 extra life. Alright, so here we have another useless zone circlet. You know, regardless of how nice it looks, sadly, it's worthless. Let me explain. For a zone circlet, you need at least two sockets to make the attack speed and faster cast rate breakpoints. Uh, for example, you'd want at least 44 attack speed for the matriarchal bow, and then 68 FCR for the teleports. And this is impossible to achieve without the second socket. So, you know, sadly, this one is trash. Hey, we got an Artisan of Speed. So this 3 socketed circlet is one of the best options for a boa zone for the extra movement speed and of course the 3 sockets. Usually you put in 3 40 15s in there for the maximum damage output. Other 3 socketed circlets that are also useful are the ones with plus 30 dex or then again the ones that have plus 20 FCR and 3 sockets for the tele boa setup. So, you know, 5 hours prior, this one I rolled a plus 19 dex 3 socketed circlet, but unfortunately the plus 30 is required for it to be worth anything. You know, anyways, this one is definitely a keeper. Alright, I was a little on the fence with this one. It's missing some stats, but still can be useful. Let me explain. The extra life still on a barb can be nice when combined with Breath of the Dying when fighting a droid for example because it allows them to leech their zoos. Typically for the strategy you would want a FCR leecher ring combined with a COA rather than having life steal on a circlet but if you're on a budget this could be a viable option until then. The poison is kind of useless here but you know at least you have a little strength that comes with it. If I were to use this, I would add a shadow room for the extra 20 FHR points and call it a day. And finally, the last notable find of the day, a Griffin's Eye. 
Not the most valuable item here, but gambling a Griffin's Eye is definitely on the D2 bucket list. As far as the stat goes, the minus 2 resistance is the most important one here and we got a perfect roll, 20. On the other hand, the defense is pretty low and the lightning damage was an anti-perfect roll. But still a very satisfying find. And for the ones that barely made the cut, we got this barb circlet here with a little life and high mana. Great for the teleports and whirlwinds, but in my opinion was lacking too many stats. And then this one here, another source circlet with low dex, some fire resists, and you know, a little higher on the dex, I would have maybe considered it. And another similar one here was this one with low strength and cold resists. So, you know, for the ones that didn't make the cut, all the 220s that were lacking in their own ways, uh, instead of keeping them, I decided to do a little Christmas giveaway with them. So, I hope you guys enjoy this new format. You know, I'm trying my best to create a learning experience for newer players, especially. So, if you did get something out of this, you know, for me, that's a mission accomplished. So with that said, I wish you guys the best, happy holidays, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Farewell. Goodbye.